careful with that. Careful. Well, if he's got to worry, why don't he worry about your old mare having to lug this thing? Abigail's willing. I reckon she's always ready to do her share for the Army. <laughs> Daniel, if the general heard you even mention Army, he'd have a fit. That's all we need. The Redcoat's getting wind of this. Uh, I got a fine bargain for you, anyhow. Oh, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> Muskrat pelts. Top grade. Oh, for them? Mm -hmm. Why, varmint wouldn't be found dead in a thing like that. Oh, is that so? Yes. That's so. Well, thank you kindly. Uh, now, I can tell you, you folks should know real skins the moment you see them. Yep, well, I'm afraid we got all we need, mister. We're on our way to market to get rid of these. Oh, oh, jumping Josephette. Oh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and, and my kind of luck <laughs> to run into trappers like you. And me as a pair like, uh, oh, like this. You know, uh, I, I was figuring to uh, sell uh, these uh, pelts uh, help me get the rest way north to, to my kinfolk. Well, nice meeting you people anyway. Beauties, beauties. That satisfy you? Hold up, friend. You think this would be a fair exchange for those top grade pelts of yours? Well, thank you. And you're a real Samaritan, and uh, may the good Lord watch over you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> oh. I'll add my prayer to that. I thought I get a ride up on the furs this time. Oh, I think this time you're going to have to wait this one out, son. But why? You said I could go on all the trips this season. Yes, it did, but I think I'd prefer that you stay home on this one. You said this was to be the usual trail trip. No one said it wasn't. Then I got to go with you. You said I was old enough. You know you did. You promised. Well, my son, I said that you were man enough to go on trips this season, but... That also means that you're man enough to accept a change in plans. Part way? Just all right, part way. I'm sorry, Isla. Well, Israel? You've taken that boy with you on every trip lately, and now you won't even let him go part way. There's some danger involved in this, and you know it. Now, Becky, you know, if there was, I'd certainly tell you. Not for a minute. Well, we'll be back soon. Now, you wait and see. And tell Israel there'll be trips. Plenty of Yeah. Couldn't feel better, Daniel. You're worried, too. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking a few precautions. a big man with an eye like an eagle and as tall as a mountain was he Daniel Boone was a man yes a big man he was brave he was fearless and as tough as a mighty oak tree from the coonskin cap on the top of old and to the heel of his raw high shoe the rippin'est, roarin'est, fightin'est man the frontier ever knew. Daniel Boone was a man, just a big man. And he fought for America to make all Americans free. Daniel Boone.
hold it. First, beauties they are and pile this high. <laughs> Who's that? Morning, Daniel. Kelly. And, sir, I reckon you'd be that army colonel. Only that's something we're supposed to keep to ourselves. At least that's the way I understand it. Tom, this is Gabe Cooper, one of the best Indian trackers there ever was. You say Indian? <laughs> well, he only learned from the Indians. He moved in with the tribe when he found he didn't care for the working conditions on a certain plantation. Gabe's going to be our forward scout. I couldn't have picked a better one. Well, you thought of everything, didn't you? Mm, tried to. Gabe, you know about what our pace is going to be, so don't get too far in front of us. Don't worry. I'll be checking back on you now and then, whether you see me or not. Well, don't be too surprised if you look back and just see two of us, because we're going to lose another one right about now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. OK. Well, so long, Abigail. I wonder when he get tired of walking. Well, I mean, to be fair, Tom and I are going to flip for it. Well, if the Army were running this part of the show, Daniel, we wouldn't be quite so sporting. Ed. Well, Abigail, looks like you get the Colonel. <laughs> Here you go, Colonel. Thanks. Cully, uh, give us a little lead time and then follow right after us. I will now. You keep your eyes open, Dan. Colonel, watch your head on that limb. Come on, Abigail. Give Abigail a blow and we'll check the lashing here. How are we doing on time? Well, we're doing a lot better than I figure. If we keep this up, we ought to. Do you hear something? That could be Gabe. He said he'd be checking on it. Gabe's out in front. This came from behind. Cully, is that you? <laughs> no need for that, brother. <laughs> Just your old friend dropping in. <laughs> hey, uh, put the rifle down. <laughs> what in tarnation are you doing here? I figured you were heading north. Well, you might call it a case of a man just uh, drifting uh, plumb off course. Uh, you might, uh, that is. Uh, me, I, I call it uh, providence. The will of the Lord, like I was being uh, drawn by a great and uh, heavenly magnet. Well, that's a real nice thought, brother. Uh, so the least I can do is set your steps aright, as they say in the good book. I recall how you wanted to get back to your kinfolk. Well, now, right there, you just hit on providence again. Because you know what? I already met up with him. <laughs> Shadrach! Hi there, Pa. This uh, here is my boy Shadrach. <laughs> Comes pretty near to being the spitting image of his ma. <laughs> Bless her soul. Glad to meet you. Harvard is our name. I don't think it got yours. Well, look, Mr. Torbett, Fred, you caught uh, my partner and I at an awkward time for any socializing. Have you got any idea what it's like to always be getting the leavings, you know, the scraps, you know, pinch here, dad there? Body gets so tired of that, he wants to share. So that when I felt this magnet, you know, drawing me, I said to myself, I said, <laughs> Tarbot, every one of God's critters gets his glory sometime. And I reckon that yours has got to be next. 
I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a little longer, brother. Howdy. It's right, Jarrett. It's right. Right. That weight off the hand. Now, <laughs> this here is uh, my other boy, Misha. Oh, he takes a little more after me than the other one. Uh, but uh, they're both my boys, and there ain't anything I wouldn't do for them or they wouldn't do for me. Hey, we got some accounting to do here. Pa, we're going to be rich, no. Pa. Get out of there. Now, let me get at those. So we just saw somebody uh, down the trail about a half mile back. What's his name? Yeah, huh? call me something. Is that who you mean? Because if it is, he's resting right now. <laughs> What's a couple of measly things like these doing here? You ought to know, Mr. Tarbot. You sold them to me. Well, do you want to contaminate the whole lot? Oh, boy. What pretties, beauties, and oh, they go all the way. Salt. Plain salt for trading. So why don't you take those pelts and we'll be on our way with it? Well, not where this is. Uh, you know, don't you, that we're going to take your pack horse with us. Salt. Weighing a ton. Boys, take that thing up over there and open it. Wasting your time, we don't even have a key for that lock. Anybody tries funning with Solomon Tarbin, we got the key. Shadrach? I figure there's one bunch you're going to run into. Yeah? Who's that? The Continental Army. And I reckon you've bit off more than you can chew. Oh, I chew pretty good. What's the Army got to do with it? They happen to own that. Well, I don't care who owns it. I care about who's got it. Did you hear that? He says the Army owns it. Pa? Pa? Hey, Pa, look at here. There, there's something on this here bar. Now, you listen. We were taking that to Fort Kenny. It's urgently needed to buy ammunition and supplies for an expected major attack. Now, the minute they hear what's happened, you won't just have us on your tail or even a pack of constables. You'll have a regiment. That don't scare me none. You'll have men tracking you no matter what trail you take and more waiting for you at the end of it. They'll get a face full of shot, too. Don't think they won't. Mister, you won't even have a chance to touch your trigger before you'll be blasted down from all sides and your boys, too. Well, there ain't nobody gonna take that away from me. Just nobody. Nobody at all. Hey, what is it? Shadrach? Hey, is it, uh, that fella Cully? I tied him, Pa. I tied my tree. Yeah. 
Well, go take a look again. Right now, Gip, Gip. Pa, it, uh, it could be a critter uh, or, or an Indian, Pa. And it could be that you forgot everything I ever told you about how to tie a man up. No, no, Pa, the way I knocked him, he was plumb out. Besides, Pa, I hit his rifle. He won't be able to find it for a week. Yeah. I got him, Pa. I got him. Yes, wrong. Get back there. Get. Pa, are you all right? Sorry, Pa. It don't matter, Israel. This time's run out. I drop it. All right, old man. Drop that rifle. I swear I'd soon blast you as look at you. Now drop it. Blast away. I'll blast right with you. You think I won't? You just keep coming. That's more like it. You know I ain't fun in one bit, don't you? The way I figure, that box there is worth almost any risk I could think of. So you all got about three more seconds before this young'un goes straight to Kingdom Come. Daniel. Drop yours. You too, Gabe. He's bluffing, don't you know that? No, and you don't either. I'm sorry, Pa. It's all right, son. Now let him go. I'm afraid you ain't quite out of this yet. What do you mean? Well, that part about the army being all over us, it's gonna be up to you to see that they ain't. Well, what do you expect us to do about that? Oh, you figure away. I reckon you have to, for your boy's sake. Because we'll be taking him with us to make sure that you do. Pa! Pa, you all right, Pa? Israel? Israel! Save your strength, Daniel. They've been long gone. If it'll do you any good, your boy was taken like a real soldier. Keeping his head, if you know what I mean. How long will they keep theirs? People like that. Oh, my head. The club of the colonel, too. He's still out. I got to get to Israel. You get out of this, Daniel. Like they thought I never busted a rope before. Only problem is, it's your rope. And you had to bring the best. Hey, Shadrach, <laughs> see that uh, creek bending off through there? It's headed right for the North Fork River, like every other stream in these parts. I can tell by the slope of the land. You didn't say nothing about the North Fork River. You should have figured it on your own. One of them fancy settlements is going to have just the wagon we need, and supplies and horses and... I don't mean possums like this in here, but horses. Where we're gonna live like kings. Did you hear that, boy? We're gonna live like kings. Royal king. I wouldn't count on it if I were you, Mr. Tarpet. I've been crossing North Fork anytime soon, on count of the floods. What floods? The saying goes, when the wind is in the east, it's good for neither man nor beast. This one's in the east. Other signs, too, like a, a clear, pretty sky of blue breeds a storm within a day or two. <laughs> Your pa learned you all of that, huh? <laughs> so how come have we had four days of blue sky and not one drop of rain? How come, huh? Some pa. You know, seeing he does what he'd better do, maybe you'll be around a while, I can give you some real learning. And too bad about these grapes, boy. Maybe there'll be enough for you next time. Hey, hey Pa. Hey, don't you think it's time we started taking turns on the horse? Danged if you don't get more like your ma every day. Now, look at Meshach there. He ain't tired. He looks tired to me. Well, he ain't, and neither are you. He's a tarbot. And us Tarbots is as tough as catgut. Now, take me. 
could walk ten whole miles in a day without a whimper and always could. Now, ain't that so? Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Can you hear me, Tom? Yeah. Are you all right? Oh, be all right. What happened? They bedded us down real good. But we're just about to get unbedded. We got to get to the Army, Daniel. It's time enough for the Army after I get Israel back. All right, you brought me to say it. You were put in charge to get that gold to the fort, and you failed. Well, I'm in charge now, and I tell you, we're going straight back to my regiment. I think I'm going to risk my son's life with that cracked up old man. I'm going after him now, and I'm asking you to hold that army off. You ain't got no rifle, Daniel. They took everyone we had. Then I'll just have to go without. Alone? Unarmed? That's out of the question. I tell you, we're going straight back to the fort. Gabe. See about our friend Cully. Here, take this, will you? Maybe by that time you'll have changed your mind. Never. Now get me out of this. This is the same thing as treason, Daniel. No difference. You better remember that because the army sure will. One of you, let that horse go free. The horse? Ain't you here? No, she ain't here. And the rate she's going, she's halfway home. But we staked her right there, Pa. I, I mean, Shadrach done it, and I reckon he didn't do a very good what? job. You snip. Hold it. Weasel. Hold it. You watch what you call your brother. He's lying, Pa. He chiseled that stake himself, and all I did was to pound it in. I told you this was going to happen, Mr. Tarbot. Nobody asked. You. When the ground is damp, it won't hold a clamp. This ground's damp. You make me sick. You and them no good sayings of yours. Like that storm and there was no storm. Wait a minute, that's wrong what you're doing. The lightning strikes cedar and ash. So seek the oak for cover and you'll draw no flash. That's an oak. Oh, 
Come on, girl. That's it. trouble, Abigail. Looks to me like you're going to have to go back the same direction you just came. As the line officer of the Continental Army, I've given you a direct order. Cut me loose. You ever been an army color? No. I can't say I ever was. Me neither. Because that don't mean I ain't had a pack of orders thrown at me in my day. Of course, we were none from no army. <laughs> well, at least you're on our side, and it's your responsibility to do what I tell you. You know how I look at it, Cully? Yeah. I figure our main responsibility is to do what we can to help old Daniel. That's right. After all, it was him that got us into this. We're in no army. You know, speaking of the army, <clears throat> you know, now, I'd figure that if I was an officer in the army, I'd know soon enough when I was out there. Now, wouldn't you? Please, have a little humanity, if nothing else. Well, <clears throat> Right, Gabe. I mean, it's uh, it's been a long night, and I'm pretty tired, and I could use a little sleep myself. What well, a nice, soft bed of leaves to toss and turn any way you want it. <sighs> so it's good to get on those ropes. All right. All right. Have it your way. All right, now, here's our way. Now, we forget about the Army, and we take off and follow Dan, in case he needs us. So if that's satisfactory with you, Tom. Yes, yes, I said yes, didn't I? Okay. Then let's, let's get at it. Let's go. Up the hill. Come on, haul it up in here. And you quit dragging your feet. getting heavier. Well, you know the old saying. We don't want to hear it. What weighs an ounce in the morning weighs a pound at night. I'm telling you, Pa, I'm telling you straight out, I'm going to shut that kid up. You ain't going to do nothing. As long as he's alive, that young and it's our guarantee. Oh, he's been tricking you, Pa, scaring you with all that storm stuff. Nothing but a few itsy bitsy drops. Well, you'd just be glad that there wasn't any storm. Slopping around the mud, we wouldn't got that river of doomsday. Now, get, get gone. The next time you think your paw's being tricked by some half growed squirt of a know all, I want to hear about it. When there's lightning head for an oak tree, huh? Sir? Oh, I'll sir you. I'll send you spinning. That's the worst kind of tree there is for lightning. You think I don't know that? You try anything like that on me again, you wish you hadn't. I I'm sorry, sir. I thought I had it right. You just remember what I said. Yes, sir. All right. Get on up from there. Move. Get on with it. Abigail, I think we're going to both be happier with this. Yes. Oh, 
all gleaming and bright. The North Fork, just like I promised. And uh, we fort her right down there, where she's shallow. Oh, we'll be able to cross her before dark, just easy as pie. <coughs> What are you doing? Well, come on. Well, come on. Well, this ain't no time to bog down. Oh, listen, Paul. Playing pack horse for you is one thing. Being his jackass is something hey. else. Some tarbots. You know, if, if we wasn't in such a hurry, I'd pick up that little chest, swing it up on my back, and tote it the rest of the way myself. Oh, yeah. I'd like to see that. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I, I don't know what young people are coming to this day and age. There's no respect for their elders. There's no respect at all. Well, if I have to take measure, I'll take them. On your feet before he blows your head off. Move. Misha, grab it. Hurry, Shadrach, hurry. That's not that hip. Come on, boy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We ain't got all day. Sure can't be blamed. Them not even half trying. We gotta share all that gold with them. Just don't seem fair. Maybe you don't either. Did you ever hear of a bird like that? Like what? Oh, I hear Paul's my bones rattling again. I ain't gonna carry this chest one step further. Forget about your bones. Rest on the other side. Maybe that's what threw you off, you see. The grackle only gives special calls at certain times. Grackle? Yeah, you see, like, when you surprise. Someone come up you don't expect. You remember me warning you a while back. Yes, sir. Well, keep remember. Yes, sir. It uh, must have been a trapper, someone like that. I don't suspect it'd be a soldier. Why don't you shag up that slope and take a look? See if you can spot him. Yeah, I'll do it, Paul. You say hurry. Hey, no, you don't. Hey, no, Shadrack, one of you. Shadrack. You think I'm gonna lug that all by myself while he's off there taking a rest? I ain't gonna. Go ahead. Shoot me. You know something? You're sounding more like your ma every day. You're even beginning to look like her. And that takes some doing. Get there for midnight. Oh, he's probably sound asleep. I wouldn't put it past him. You better never pull a stunt like that. Why? You ain't gonna do nothing about it. Except give him another bar of gold. Done spoil that boy ever since he was a little. That's a black eyed lie. I know it. He knows it. Everybody else knows it. It's awful funny that you don't know it. We 
We're moving. If you can catch up. Nobody's moving till somebody gets on the end of that thing. I told you that, Pa. You're getting pretty big for your britches, ain't you? Yep. Come on. I'm on this end. Oh, you. Come on, boy. What do you need that for? Tries to get away, we got rifles, ain't we? Oh, I figured that out already. We got rifles up to our ears! I don't know what you take me for anyway. A lazy whining lout. But if you're gonna earn your share of that gold, you're gonna work for it. You know, I've been thinking about something. Meshach, maybe he can't get back. Maybe he ran into some trouble. Boy, would you walk out there just a little bit in front? Where we can keep an eye on you. Yes, sir. Well, help me. Up we go. Easy. Toward the Ford. Easy. Hey, Pa. Well, what are you What are you doing that? You think I ought to go check on Meshack? No, no, no. If he's gone, he's gone. And I'll sure miss him. But that is his life, and a body has to keep going the best that he can. You know, maybe there were soldiers, and he ran into them. Well, then I reckon your pa will be missing you. Because if he let them or anybody else try to stop me, he sure as shooting gonna pay for it. A son for a son. Now, nothing could be more fair than that. So you better pray that there ain't nobody like that anywhere near here. Shad, shaddy boy. Let's get my. Well, what a Shadrach! What are you doing? What's what's it look like I'm doing? Uh, it's not more than ten yards off. <sighs> Come on, get up. Oh. Oh. You listen to me. I, I labored for that box. I, I earned it. It's rightly mine. And I ain't gonna give it up for the likes of you or anybody else. <sighs> Bad blood. That's what it is. Bad blood from your ma's side. Oh. Hey, boy, you got two hands. Get up to this box. Yes, sir. You know what you've just done? You've just given up your last claim to any part of that gold. Now, what do you think of that? Oh. Boy! Come on. Well, boy, what's the matter with you? Come on! I'll see if I can get this down here for you. There. Now, I think you can lift that. Just try it, will you, boy? We like it, huh? Wait, I get the handle. I can lift it. Oh, come on. You ain't a weakling. I tell you what. You get on the back and push. I'll pull it around. Now, you... Just push, and I'll pull. Come on. You can do better than that. Push! That's it. We get to go big strokes. Push! Push! We're getting there, boy. Come on, you ain't even pushing. Push! Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Now, look 
here, boy. You, you don't want to be funny like that. Stay right there, I'm warning you. Shadrach. No, that ain't no way to act. Ain't I been good to you? I ain't never hit you or, or kicked you. Shadrach! Remember the, the grapes boy, the little big Stay grapes. Stay right grapes. there! I, I promise. Don't move! <laughs> <laughs> we'll do something, you dang fool! He could shoot me! Oh, that'd be a shame, wouldn't it? That'd really be a shame, I mean, to have all that gold all to yourself and then... I, I, I never meant that, and you know it. I, you get your share, same as always. A lot ain't enough. Because you've been saying bad things about my ma, and I'm gonna get you that. What else do you want, you conniving? I want Meshach's share. Every last bar. All right, all, all right. Now make him put it down. All right, you stay right there. Get back. Hi. <laughs> stay. Take. Now put that down. Stay right back there. Now don't move. Hey! We'll catch her! She'll get us across the river! You good for nothing, little. Ah. She's got a saddle. That means somebody put it there. Well, get your rifle. You out there! If you're who I think you are, I don't have to explain nothing to you, because you're looking at us right now. You better come marching out of there with your hands up and real quick. Pa, don't do it! You got two seconds. No more. Just don't seem to learn, do you, brother? Now bring that animal with you. Get up, you. I see, man. I see what you done. And don't think you ain't gonna pay for it. Shadrach, get his rifle. Hey, part is his. It's the one Meshach had. Now you are going to get it. What'd you do with him? What'd you do with my boy? I didn't hurt him. Wait! Right about now, he's smack dab in the middle of a squad of troops. They've been following my trail, and they're coming on with a rush. Shadrach, you take care of this yunkin while I settle with this double dealing. Don't fool us for a minute. You wouldn't more shoot us than you'd throw that chest away. Oh, you think so? Besides, it'd only leave the two of you to get it to cross the river, and you'd only be halfway at the bank by the time the troops got here. Don't you think I don't know an old fox when I see one? I reckon you had me dead to rights there, brother. Pa, what's going on? What do you think's going on? I'm putting him on the other end of that chest with you. Just like I planned. Don't get moving. Both of you. Uh, uh, I, I want that box moved out of here real lively. We ain't got a second to lose. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Step up there right in front of me. Move, boy. Move. Right in front of me. We're gonna cross up there by that tree. You know, compared to that job on us, I said his year's even better. You just cut me loose. That's all I asked. You just cut me loose. I'm not so pretty familiar to you. You suppose Boone's been this way? That dirty rotten trick, he even took his gun. You just can't count on anybody anymore, can you, Meshack? Well, boys, I think we can take a rest. It's plain to see Daniel's in no trouble. Oh, fine. 
Why do we need that? We're in a hurry. Well, you can take your choice. Lose a little time now or lose your gold for good. There's enough mud on that bottom. If we were to slip and drop it in, it'd be swallowed up. You'd never see it again. Let's go, Shadrach. You're next. In case you're wondering, I've got a rifle pointed smack at your boy. And I took that for granted. I just wonder what you're going to do with us when you get us on the other side. Well, that depends upon how much you help us to get there. We'll talk about that then. Seems like Fair thing. Just one thing. Yeah, what's that? All this mud on this bottom. If my boy slips, is that going to be any call to squeeze the trigger? Oh, I'll know when there's call, brother. You think up of any trick that I haven't pulled myself, I'd like to see it. Israel? about the one back there. Oh, we'll include him in. It'd be ashamed to break up a loving family. <laughs> you, you, you're the spitting image of your ma. Oh. 